I'll be talking about threat protection in Microsoft 365 and what are the different security features and capabilities available. There are so many capabilities available in both Azure and Microsoft 365 and it's been a challenge uh, to compare these services and look them all together because some of them are already there just for 365 and there are many threat protection let's say for Windows and Azure conditional access um, and so there are so many features and capabilities available across the services so what I've done is put together a chart where I have uh, anything which is revolving around the threat protection like how many different ways uh, Microsoft is providing a threat protection across its uh, Azure and Microsoft 365 so threat protection in Office 365 and Azure, as you can see, threat protection, uh, as I talked about, the Azure AD, Cloud App Security, um, Azure Threat Protection, Office 365 Threat Protection, Exchange Online Protection, Windows ATP, and the Cloud App Security, all that stuff is there. Uh, for this series, I'll be going and try my best to cover all of them. So we'll start with the security capabilities in Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection and most of the cases uh, you will need e5 or you can buy that service uh, by paying additional for this advanced threat protection so we are not going into the licensing we'll just look into the different capabilities available in advanced threat protection in office 365 So entire spoofing in Office 365. In my previous videos, we have talked about entire spamming. So entire spoofing. Uh, in this video, we'll see the settings for that. In my previous video, we talked about entire phishing, and there is an already option available where you can customize the setting for entire spoofing. So there is some business requirement where you want to allow some companies or to spoof of behalf of your domain but again this can be controlled where you do not want them to allow so if you go to the properties of already created anti-phishing policy we have the spoofing enabled if you do not have any policy created usually you may see it disabled but here we already enable it but we can edit it or look into the setting so we have enable entire spoofing protection for our tenant and then these are the actions so if the email is sent by someone who is not allowed to spoof your domain that email will be moved to the junk or it can be quarantined um, we'll leave as is for the junk because we don't want to lose the email so what's going to happen it will go to the junk folder of end user and from there an end user can report as a junk or block whichever the action they want to take it because we don't want to be just in a position to um, limit them from doing business it could be a legitimate email in that case and then uh, that's being done and then you want to review the settings again you can review the settings and if you want to change it you can change it here we will go back to these steps so i hope you like this video thank you